right over the top. <gasps> yeah, another one. You guys ready for this one? The Winmore Mark Webster darts review starts right now. Yeah, that is about as good as an intro as it gets and a perfect example of what you can do with really thin darts. But in this video, we're going to be taking a close up look at the Winmore Mark Webster darts. Now, these are not the brand new ones that were just released a couple months ago. These were the ones that I happened to pick up on clearance at Red Dragon Darts. And if you have a look up here, I paid right around 25 pounds for these things, which I think that's about 34, 35 US dollars. And more good news, Red Dragon recently lowered their shipping costs to the United States right around three pounds, which is about four US dollars. So as of today, February 19th, 2021, these are still in stock. So you can hopefully pick yourself up a set because I think they're a great deal for a great set of darts. But what do you say we grab the other camera? We'll take a close up look at these things, go over some stats and dimensions, and then we'll take them to the board. I'll throw them for a little bit and let you know what I think of these things. But come on, straight barrel dart, multi-ring, very mild grip. You already know how this is going to go. A great set of darts. So here we go. Okay, for today's video, we're going to be taking a close-up look at the Winmore Mark Webster darts, world champion Mark Webster, by the way. And as you see here, comes in your fairly typical cardboard hang case. Of course, we have the darts inside, and they come with the Winmore point protector. Looks a lot like that. And I always think this is a nice little addition because a lot of darts just come with this cheap little plastic thing that you can just throw right away. But yeah, this is a really nice addition here. But what do you say we take a little bit closer look at these darts and go over some stats and dimensions? Okay, there we go. Completely stocked, fresh out of the package. I think that's a great looking set of darts. And as many of you know here on this channel, we love a straight barrel multi-ring dart. Just can't go wrong with that setup. On the back end here, we have some medium length Prism 4 stems. And on the back end, we have the Winmore Prism Alpha Mark Webster Flight. I love that spider pattern there. That is a great looking flight. Standard size, by the way, but writing down some stats and dimensions. This is a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 48.4 millimeters long. And the barrel width coming in at a very skinny 6.1 millimeters wide. Now these were advertised as 21 grams. Two of the barrels came in at 20.87 grams. The other barrel, 20.92 grams. So the match weighting there was excellent. So well done to win more there, but let's get a close up look at these awesome barrels. Okay, there we go. Nice close up look at the barrels there. And as you'll notice right away, nothing fancy here whatsoever. And like I've said, just a basic straight barrel multi-ring dart, but as I've also repeatedly said on this channel, forget about all the fancy grip patterns, forget about the fancy coatings. This right here is all you need in order to throw world-class darts. I mean, look at most of the top professionals in the PDC. They're using a dart very similar to this. So really, basically what I'm saying is don't, for, oh, don't fall for all the gimmicky stuff. Really, this is all you need in order to rack in those 100 plus averages. But we'll start with the front end of the dart here. We have a very short tapered nose cone there. We got the standard black points of which 28 millimeters sticks out of the barrel. So these are a 32 millimeter black point. But now heading back to the barrels themselves, as you'll notice here in the back end, we've got these micro multi rings here. And we also have them in the middle of the barrel here on the front end. We have the five painted multi rings and we also have five painted multi rings here as well. There you see the Winmore logo on the smooth section. And I think they missed the trick here because, you know, seeing how Mark Webster is a world champion, I think they could have gone with the dual logo and added, you know, maybe a spider web logo on the back side. I think he's well deserving of a dual logo on his darts. But talking about the grip level here, you know, this stuff is right up my alley. Straight barrel multi ring dart, very mild grip on these things. I'm going to go ahead and give them a level two grip on a scale of one to five. But you know what time it is. It's time to get these things on the board. And I'm going to give them a go. I'm not too sure about the stem for now. I think that stem is a little bit long. You guys know I prefer an intermediate length stem. But I will be going pretty much with a stock setup, I think. I'll try these flights. And if they don't go well in warm-ups, I'll switch over. I'll let you know. But time to get these things on the board and see how they throw. Here we go. 
Okay, let's have a few throws with the Winmore Mark Webster darts. As you'll notice right there, I did end up ditching the medium length Prism Force stems. Not that I disliked the stems, they were just a little bit too long for me. During warm ups, the darts were fishtailing a little bit through the air. They're also flying a little too slow for my liking. So I went with an intermediate length nylon stem, and that seemed to help things a little bit. But we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I had a great five minutes warm up and these things were flying unbelievably well. What was that? 85 to kick things off with. You know what I like about these barrels, there's absolutely no sharp edges anywhere along this barrel, but there are quite a few markers to place your fingers. So if you want to grip these on the painted rings on the front, you can do that. Middle gripper, which is where I am, I'm gripping on the painted Rings are the painted multi-rings right in the middle of the barrel. You could also grip these in the rear part of the barrel. And those micro multi-rings, you can almost make that out. It would make a great marker for a rear gripper. So it doesn't matter where you grip a dart. These barrels are going to work well. I think that's in. I can't see. I think that's in. That is not in. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, that first one was in. My eyes, sometimes at night, not good. I think I gotta get some new glasses. A Little bit high. What a great deflection there. Nice cover shot, almost. Hey, at least it went straight there. Better than a three or a seven. But, you know, speaking about Mark Webster, though, what a great player in his day. You know, 2008 BDO world champion and a left-handed player on top of that. I'm trying to think. was Let's see, there was him. Oh, what was the other guy's name? Left-handed world... Wallace? Les Wallace? I think Les Wallace was left-handed, right? So, yeah, two, two world champions were left-handed that I can think of. Was there any more? I can't really think of anything right off the bat. Get out of that five. A little bit high, forced to go for cover. And it's in. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys can score a set of these if you want. I think that's a great deal. 25 pounds, $35 for a world champion player dart. How do you beat that? Wow, that was, you know, going back on all my videos, I think that's the first true bounce out I've had off a of blade wire board. Mulligan. We'll take a mulligan on my last turn. Back in that trouble 19, please. Ah, just a bit high. All right, I'm going to have to go. We can't end on that. I'll go one more turn here. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I don't think I've ever had a a true bounce out on my board on video. Ah. Well, there we go. That wasn't the best throwing. I think I was talking a little too much there, but um, wow, awesome set of darts. I really like these things. Right up my alley, 20 grams, 6.1 millimeters wide. That's about as perfect as it gets for me. But guess what, guys? You know how we're gonna end this video. I do have one more clip for you, and then if you stay to the very end, maybe another one as well. Hope you enjoy it. Wow, that's standing up, but it's on the bottom of the bed. Oh, other side? Yeah! Boom! No boom shirt. I went with the I love this shirt, by the way. Hey, I think these are on clearance at Red Dragon as well. Anyway, second dart, first dart, third dart just kind of wiggled its way up in there. Well, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Winmore Mark Webster darts. And I do hope you get a set. Again, to remind you, link down in the pinned comment to the Red Dragon clearance section or sales section, whatever they call it. 
Hope you get a set and make sure you check out all the other stuff. Like I said, shirts, flights, darts, they got everything in there. So feel free to leave a comment down below. And only if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see ya on the next video. Later. Oh, what a perfect deflection. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs>